original content has been searched for 1 billion and 800 and 1,000 times so far on Google. What the huge number, right? Does it mean that people just love motivational content or they're addicted to it? Listening to my speech will certainly enable you to find your own response. We're all human beings and we become different depending on the case. Sometimes we're energetic, having a course to take tons of risks, but in other times we're just hopeless, expecting nothing in life. Why this really happens? You may tell that it's all due to dopamine release in our body. If I have higher dopamine levels, we're normally content with life. We will have more optimistic views. But have you ever thought of other factors that make people feel good, encouraged, and satisfied in their lives? Before telling the answer, I want to give you some time to think. I hope you're done, and the answer for the question I asked a bit ago is motivational content. In the past, dopamine release would occur naturally when people did something rewarding, like spending time with their loved ones, eating chocolate, or at least shopping. In this contemporary world, however, people are not able to produce dopamine synthetically. Interestingly, how, you may ask. Of course, by watching motivational videos and shorts. I have been in such moments a lot when I felt passive, unproductive, desperate. I always reminded myself that my peers are achieving their goals and they are working hard, but I'm just wasting my time. Then immediately I started to search for some encouragement, and the first thing that came to my mind was social media. So I wrote, I wrote some words on the keyboard and started watching some motivational videos. After like 10 minutes, you may not believe, but I felt energized. I had a sense of inspiration in myself. And I right away made some plans, set up quite a few goals, and deleted all of the games from my phone. And I promised myself that I would study more, sleep less, exercise more, eat less. To be honest, it really worked for me. I was really active. I, was, I thought that I was the most productive and successful person in this world. And I was really active for only two days. But on the third day, unfortunately, when I woke up, I was tired and in a horrible mood again. I was totally devastated. I didn't know what to do, but I didn't give up. I kept watching and watching such videos more and eventually got into an endless loom of motivational content. And this is what I would call addiction to motivation. After such a long story, I realized that motivation alone is going to be ineffective unless you take some steps. My this conclusion can also be supported by the quote of American entrepreneur Jim Rohn in his hat. Motivation alone is not enough. Imagine you have an idiot, and if you motivate him, now you will have a motivated idiot. It makes sense, but doesn't make a difference. So I took three main steps to motivate myself naturally. First, I defined my daily goal. What really makes me happy and content with life? I always set daily smart goals and the ones that are realistic. Second, I tried to create a supportive atmosphere. I made as many hardworking friends as possible to create a healthy competition among us. And we would usually go to green and open spaces to motivate us, to motivate ourselves to study more. Third, I always had a reward for myself. Usually on the weekends, I would feel really exhausted after such a long week, then watching my favorite sitcom friends would always motivate me and refresh myself. Then, you know, there was no longer need for me to watch motivational content because I was already motivated from my inner side. In the end, what I would like to tell is, always try to create your own motivation rather than focusing on other people's encouragement or motivation. But in the end, I'll never force you to stop watching such content. That is because, as every patient is not cured with the same medicine, not each person can be inspired by the same motivation. Thanks for listening.